Well, it all started with this tweet from 2K where they just said NBA 2K brings many changes and improvements to the to the My Player Builder to ensure that this is the best builder ever created. A whole new progression system to my career and the city. Next gen only. 24 badges, and you know, for the Futter Mamba, 77 in, 77, in to, 77 in total. You'll want to build your my player to fit the, to fit your play style. And uh, that's what we're talking about, man. We're going to talk about all of that in one second because they had some cool clips of them using, of people using the badges. They did a lot of stuff like that, man. We're going to talk about all of that, go very in-depth, go to the courtside report, and just keep y'all up to date on everything. But before we get started, make sure y'all like the video, comment y'all thoughts down below, man. Let me know if y'all rocking with the new badge system or not. We need y'all support, man. We're trying to get to that 100K. Y'all say y'all want to see me get to the 100K. If y'all want to see me get there, you all are solely in control love it you gotta like the video you gotta comment you gotta do stuff like that man or we just it's just never gonna happen man so i appreciate y'all guys and without further ado let's get into it let's get into the video man so check this out hey they they, they have some of the new badges that's jimmy butler with the uh precision dunker badges it says finishing finishing with authority with the skill dunk uh joint so hey you got that we got the uh we got the a uh, two-step and you can do it all by yourself Okay, okay, yeah, so you got a two-stepper badge with Jason with, the, with Jason Tatum doing the uh, Euros and stuff. You got that speed booster badge with your boy, um, Jordan, uh, Jordan Poole, you know, extended version of the trailer. You got that float game with D Fox. And last but not least, we got the badge that I already told y'all. I said, man, in the video, I looked at that. I said, he pushed Jimmy, and then they cut away. Jimmy dunked on him, but then Giannis finished that with a dunk. Is there going to be a badge that's going to let you just punch just punch it on people? Just punch it right in his face. It's in, in, in his face. Like, is that going to be that? And it appears that that is the case in this situation. So we got a lot of badges and all, a lot of information to get to because we got the whole courtside report here, man. Number five. We're going to go through this as quickly as possible. I'm not going to read the lengthy parts. Cause I ain't got that type of time and y'all ain't gonna watch the video anyway, man. But before we do that, man, check this out. Please check out, check out the site. If you like t-shirts and stuff like that, get your breezy tees. We're rocking with breeze tees. Check out the site, custom gear. We got regular gear. Some of this stuff you can customize like the bro and child. I'm tired. We just, we got a lot of good stuff over there, man. Go check that out. And somebody asked about Bill's Mafia. Hey, we working on that for you right now, my boy. But let's just get, we're gonna get right into this thing, man. Cause I want to get this done uh, as soon as possible, man. And listen, that just says the same thing that it said. Play how you play. Play how you want to play. These are the badges that are going to allow you to do it. They got 24 new badges, and uh, 20 of them are offensive, and four of them are defensive. Let's see how that stacks up. We're just going to go right through. Float game increases the ability for floaters and runners and all that. Scoop layup, uh, quick scoop, quick scoop layup shots. Chances will be improved. Bunny, hop step, layups, and dunks receive an increase you know with with bunny so the hop step uh, is it gonna be like in nba 2k 20 it was kind of hard to get open and stuff like that and so they you know uh, the hop step was very important spin cycle drive finishing with the spin layup or dunk receive increase hope it's not like 2k 13 you know it is what it is two step we already said cradles and euros they get a boost uh precision dunker people who use those who utilize the skill dunk mechanic which is the dunk bar uh, you're going to get a boost on your dunk. Hookshot specialist. No one, we don't care about that. Brought back from the dead. Hookshot specialist increases a, a player's ability to make hook shots out of the post. Post fade phenom. Post fade phenom. I mean, similar to hookshot specialist, post fade phenom will allow a player to make post fades and hop shots out of the post at a high clip. So as long as they don't, they can make them and they're not contested. So they, these, these are the Black Cobra badges, man. Y'all already know. That's why he out there community day. Big shout out to Black Cobra making it out there to community day, doing his own thing and, and don't have to, uh, you know, do no crazy stuff. Hey, open looks. As as a way to encourage sudden opportunities, open looks will, in, will enhance a player's ability to make wide open jumpers. So we, listen. They, they, this is the pass the ball badge. Just pass the ball to somebody, man. That dude open pass the ball. And then this is also the Big Mac badge so he don't smoke, you know, wide open jumpers. You know what I'm saying? We don't want them Gucci, man, all white bricks. You're taking open shots, it's going to increase your chances, and it's also going to encourage. Also, you, now that we know that badges can go up and go down, and uh, this, this is a badge that's probably going to look at the quality of looks. So... If you're taking good shots, it can say he's taking good shots and his badge can go up. And we're going to talk about all that in a second, though, with the badge decay and all of that stuff, man. Anyway, so open looks, you better make window on wide open shots. 
uh, spot finder. Utilize, okay, by utilizing the get open mechanic on the right trigger, uh, right trigger or tapping the right trigger, spot finder allows players to receive a speed boost off the ball to get to a certain, to get to an open space uh, with a raised chance of knocking down the shot off of off of ensuing catch. So with that, what they're really saying is, man, is that they're really just saying, can I flip this? Thing? Thank you, guy. I cannot see in what's it called? These old, these old ass eyes, bro. I can't do it. So uh, it's just gonna make it be so like, it's like slippery off ball has never been the greatest. We can do the moves and stuff like that, man, but it just really wasn't good. Now you're gonna be get a speed boost coming off of these. Now you can call plays. So, so you know, it's, it's really the brute badge. Whatever he can call plays, say come off of this screen, come off of that, set a double pin down, set a staggered screen, regular pin down, come quick. You know, you can do all of that stuff, but it encourages off ball screening and things of that nature. A lot of people do use that. They are deadly, they are effective, but you know, it is what it is. Uh, whistle, creating contact and getting to the free throw line when attacking the rim or shooting the jump shot is improved with the new whistle badge. So like if, if guys are standing at the hash, standing in the corner, ain't gonna be no more of that jumping from the free throw line and you're gonna get there. You're probably gonna foul the guy. You're probably gonna create contact. Has a lot of potential to be broken, but hey, it is what it is. Free points in clutch moments, knocking down free throws with the game on the line, you know, improve free points. And this one, bulldozer, a mix of scoring and ball handling badge. This is the, this, it's the Bully Badge 2.0 with elements of the old clamp breaker. Bulldozer improves the player's ability to push through physical body ups and finish the finish with physicality around the rim. So he, he just gonna push through you and dunk that thing, man. That's the rim runner badge. So hey, I think you can see the way that they got this stuff going, man. A lot of these badges, it's, a, it's gonna be a slower game play. It's gonna be a more physical game. It's, it's gonna be more of a straight ahead game or what have you. Not as much left and right lateral abuse this year is what i'm thinking hey relay pass this is my badge right here this is not a new badge they brought it back uh but it just says the hockey assist the hockey assist badge relay pass that improves a uh it provides a boost to shooters in the pass to assist attribute so he passed it it's the one more badge man touch pass this is something that i thought was really good really dope players who players who quickly move the ball once receiving it We'll, uh, we'll get faster pass animations with touch passer. A lot of times, I've already passed the ball before it even gets to me, but he still takes the, you know, he still does that, that slow, that, you know, slow ass pass. And so uh, I'm glad that we got something like that. You shouldn't need a badge to do it, but I'm glad that we got it. So it does a big driver, face up bigs, driving to the basket from within the mid range area will receive an initial launch boost with the big driver. So, hey, man, you got a big driver, people like Gambit and stuff like that. I don't know how, with with, with truck, with uh, with bulldozer and truck driver, I don't know how, how crazy this got the potential to be. I see a lot of broken potential coming, and especially with this blow by. Quick ball handlers receive boosts in body ups, uh, body up interactions with defenders when blow by is equipped. Physical handles during physical body up interactions Players with physical handles have a higher chance of winning the outcome uh, following a dribble move. So, hey, man, like I said, it's not going to be as much left and right. It's going to be more straight ahead, but, you know, we're we going to figure that out anyway. Uh, speed booster, a perimeter, a perimeter only quick first step badge. Uh, speed booster will allow a quicker, well, allow for quicker launches when coming from standstill and dribble moves. And then triple strike, this is a triple threat badge, man. It's a uh, triple threat jukes or whatever they used to call it, triple threat specialist. Players excel with the triple threat launches and zooks at a higher rate. So, and then we got the four defensive badges. Because that's all we get. It's four. But, uh, yeah, it says championships are built on defense. Can't tell by the number of badges that we got. But, hey, it is what it is. And the defenders in NBA 2K will not be left behind. So, it says fast feet, a.k.a. slider feet, slider hands, slider feet, whatever you want to call it. It wouldn't be a fair game. It's already not fair for the defense. But it wouldn't be a fair game if only offensive players receive speed boost. Fast feet can be looked at as the quick first step badge for defenders, allowing them, allowing defensive specialists to stay in front of shifty ball handlers. That's cool. Right stick ripper. Y'all already know what it is. They bring it back to right stick, so you, you use the right stick. You got right stick ripper wrong, which I feel like is, is the best thing to do anyway. Now you can, he got the ball in the, in the hand, I hit the right hand, you know, the correct hand, then I can do it, but you can do it with the right stick, so that's gonna be dope. And movable enforcer, definitely gonna need this. A direct counter to bulldozer and movable enforcer allows defenders to play to win a place to win physical matchups 
when it uh when it comes down to the body ups and contact layup so hopefully i'm gonna I'm have that on man i'm gonna put the strength up jay did that so hopefully you don't have to go through that i'm gonna do all this stuff and put max out strength i'm gonna max out my rebounding and all of my uh defensive stuff and i'm just gonna have shooting or something like that and that way y'all will be able to tell what is what is good man um and you don't have to spend your money on it and it says 94 feet players with 94 feet receive fewer body up stamina hits and improve body up wins when when pressing full court don't worry those who don't have this badge on will regret it so you can't just be out there pressing just for no reason remove badges limitless takeoff bully clamp breaker but they combine those into one badge menace eh, nobody really cared about that anyway because nobody don't play defense mismatch expert quick first step is gone vice grip is gone amped clutch shooter floor general and volume shooter are all gone now we're gonna look at these tier, these right here and it's got the tiers and all of that good stuff man like i said clamps is gonna be s tier this might be a defensive guy obviously he is because he turned his defense all the way up so he's gonna be a defensive guy 94 feet is an a tier badge it helps all these others are a tier so hopefully you know they won't cost as much but clamps is what you're really going to need and uh we don't get to see if he can have if he can get uh he's got fast feet but it ain't up there yet and we don't get to see if he can get the uh is his strength up his strength is not up so maybe he can't even qualify to get your movable uh force but you know it is what it is and it's just saying right here at the start i'm gonna paraphrase all this uh you got the badges in, in all of the tiers so you got s a b c and uh you know s tier badges are gonna be the highest badges you can get they're gonna most risk most reward if you don't use them you will lose those the fastest uh but if it's a if it's a c tier badge you don't have to use like off ball pests i ain't got to use that as much to keep it but another thing it is um a, another thing they were they were talking about is uh at the start you can choose between creating your player a micro a my player in my career and you can choose a uh, nba player template or you can just do whatever you want to so it's kind of like what i was saying like that'd be cool if you could use if you could use the replica bill but then give me the replica bill and let me flesh it out and that's what they can do or you can just take the replica bill straight up if you feel like it's gonna be good man it's gonna be dope so then we also have the badge level progression and it just says once you create your player you know you're gonna you're gonna have badge progression obviously we already know that in the game all right we're gonna we, i'm gonna read this part right here though actually read it i think we got some time it says in game badge levels are determined by usage meaning how often they're firing off in the game over time from game to game your uh your usage and skills will with the badge will be evaluated i really hope that it's something like and i haven't read this part yet but i'm really hoping that it's gonna be like like the quality of the attempt and the number of attempt or so it's a per attempt type thing if i don't use that badge that game i don't feel like i should be losing it but if i take a lot of bad shots or if i I'll reach a lot and then it should be going down you see what i'm saying if i have a lot of failed attempts but if but you shouldn't get penalized for no attempt but hey we'll, we're, we're just gonna go uh how that goes over time in the game do your uses and skills of the badge uh, are, are evaluated and your badge will start off uh, will start to trend toward the level that matches your play badges with high usage and high success so yeah it is going to be like that usage and success will trend toward the higher levels uh within the potential while badges with lower usage and success uh will will trend toward the lower levels uh the floor however will be bronze so you can never go below bronze you never lose it and then once you get the badge you will uh it's like you say it's like riding a bike uh if a badge drops and uh, if a badge drops below a certain level that you had, regaining that level takes less time. So that'll be dope. So you, if you lose the badge, you drop below a certain level, hit my career, and you can get it back up. The beauty of the system is that you are that you are who you're playing as. So you've, you've proven with the skills that you excel with in certain areas, blah, blah, blah. Listen, man, they say, they say practice makes perfect, right? Badge level progression can also be worked on in team practice facility, the Gatorade training facility, and at the brinkley gym uh and it says in each uh in each of these modes you will only you will only ever improve your brass progress in other words it'll never drop in those modes so that's gonna be cool and uh there are a multitude of various prizes and and features to accelerate your badge this is what i'm talking about right here man i don't know how i feel about this uh my partner was telling me about this but we're gonna talk about it bass perks uh bass perks are, are prizes that are providing very to provide various benefits to the progression of individual badges the badge perks page consists of slots that the user can feel uh feel when unlocked there are there are four slots per perk with each slot representing a different badge on the page so overdrive increase the badge 
uh, level progression in games, immunity, slow to bash progression. So like the ones that you're not gonna use as much, just go ahead and put them over here and you'll be, you know, you'll be immune. Drills, drill, savant, uh, increase the bash level in, in the drills and the fractures assembly. A scholar, a risk reward perk that gives a significant increase in bash level progression for PVP games where you finish with a high teammate grade. However, it comes at a risk. You will receive no progression if you do not finish with the high teammate grade. Uh, and this is this is a rotational season prize. That's what I didn't want to see, but it, it says a season prize. We'll see. Win a circle, risk and reward, bash. You get, obviously, you're going to get more if you win, and you get nothing if you lose. It is what it is. Rotational season prize, bash, and then high risk uh, is, is, is uh, let me see, is, is a perk, increases your badge level progression uh, for play PvP games with badge uses, but accelerated progression with but accelerated progression with lack of usage. Maybe they meant regret. Oh, it, said, it does say regression. Accelerated regression with lack of usage. This is a rotational season prize. So the more you use it, the, you do overdrive and then you you know high risk. You know if I if I go in there, you're not going to use a lot of badges. I'm, I'm obviously going to put you know stuff like that. So we'll be got. Uh, we'll be good. You put those in the ones that you want to. So stuff that you don't use that much, you put it in immunity. Stuff that you are trying to build up, you put it in overdrive. And then the things that you use all the time. You put them in high risk. That's what. That's how I would win with that. Let me see the wreck, and it kind of just shows you like this. Winner takes all in the wreck. In the wreck, you finish with an A teammate grade. So you know he got that in the wreck. The game results in a win, and then you get it. And then uh, what is this? Up for the challenge in the wreck games against tough opponents. Badge level progressions will be accelerated. So hey, we trying to get. You know what I'm saying? We trying to. We trying to get those joints. And then here we are down to the end, uh, where it just says uh, performance multipliers are are the prizes are the prizes that unlike badge perks provide benefits to all of the equipped badges. Okay, so long as the challenge of the game is met. And it says a grade A student in games finished with a, with a high teammate grade, badge level progression is accelerated. This is gonna be dope though. So you gotta, you, you have to build these badges up, but you got a lot of ways to get it up. Uh, winner take all in, in games uh, where you win, the badge progression goes up and then up for the challenge in games where you play against tough opponents. Like we already said that. Floor setters, and this is going to be the last thing that we're going to talk about. We're going to let y'all get up out of here. Floor setters are powerful prizes that are prizes. I, I don't like that word, man. It's just that prizes that are earned in the season XP, and they are included in the free, okay, in the free base pass. So it's not, but I can't, we got to make sure because I can see this happening next year where it's going to be in the paid side or later on in the season. It's going to be some dope, some dope ass floor setters. It's going to be over there, but yo, it is what it is. Adding a floor setter to a badge will prevent, will prevent the badge from dropping below uh, the listed badge, badge level. If your badge does not progress to the level of the floor setter you want to apply it to, uh, it will auto progress to the level of course, of course, you need to have the uh, you need to have the fulfilled attributes. You got to have enough attributes to get it. That's what they're saying. Uh, they are permanent. They are permanent and cannot be changed. If you if your player can progress beyond the listed floors, uh, the floor setter badge level, they will not be prevented from doing so. So you put the floor setter on, but if let's say if it's a floor setter at, 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 at gold, it'll never drop below gold but I can get it to Hall of Fame if my attributes allow me to get it to Hall of Fame. All in all, I think this is gonna be dope, man. A lot of this stuff, a lot of people are gonna, gonna not like, but I think the way that they set this thing up, we're gonna talk about this more on stream today. Please come by the stream. I'm not gonna be streaming on YouTube unless this video gets 400, 400 likes. I stream on YouTube, but I'm gonna be streaming on Twitch. We're trying to concentrate on that a lot more, man. But listen, we're gonna talk about this on stream later. Ad nauseum, I like it. I can see how it goes. The badge grind is not as bad anymore. Uh, you can lose a badge if you don't use it, but they give you a bevy of ways in order to prevent that. Anyway, let me know what y'all think down in the comment section. I'm gonna holler at y'all next time. Till next time. It's your boy Jay Easy, aka Fresh from the Barbershop, BK of the People's Town. Guys, speak. Guys, speak.